Welcome to this session on routing piping. We will route the sanitary sewer line for the toilets and urinals in each toilet room. To start, you will place a main sewer pipe under the building. Then you will connect the toilets and urinal to that pipe, apply a slope to the pipes, and finally adjust connections as needed. So to start, let's set the display style for all views to wireframe white background. You will now create a display set that includes the plumbing fixtures and spaces from the architectural model. This will make it easier to lay out the piping. For this, you will use the Items tab in the Explorer dialog to create a selection set. Expand the Items tab, select the Space, Project Toilet 1, and Project Urinal 1. All the catalog instances from these three types will now be selected in the model. Right press in the view and select Display Set. Now you can select the Pipe tool from the Plumbing tab. Set the Pipe Diameter on the End Spec tab to 4 inches, or 100 millimeters. On the Placement ribbon, set the Base Offset to minus 2 feet, or minus 600 millimeters. The floor selector should be set to station ground floor, so the pipe will be placed 2 feet or 600 millimeters below this elevation based on that base offset. Set the family and part to plumbing, sanitary sewer, new. Now place the pipe from one end of the building to another connecting the two toilet rooms. Now let's connect the toilets to the sanitary line. We will use the device hookup tool to connect the plumbing fixture to the main pipe just placed. Now in order to connect components they must be in the active model so you will copy the plumbing fixtures from the architectural model to the MEP model. Select the four plumbing fixtures and then use the copy tool to copy them into the active model. Select the device hookup tool from the route assist group on the plumbing tab. On the placement ribbon, toggle on freeform path and set the type to rigid, the item to default, and the angle to 90. Then select the first toilet near its sanitary connection, which would basically be at the base of the toilet. Then select the pipe. A freeform path will appear. You can move the cursor to adjust the path so that it is outside the women's toilet room. Then data point to accept. A route pipe is placed connecting the toilet to the main sewer pipe. Elbows and fittings were added as needed. Now repeat the steps for the other two toilets, connecting the second toilet in the women's toilet room to the branch pipe from the first toilet. Once the toilets are connected, you will need to manually route the piping for the urinal as it needs to actually drop vertically in the wall behind the urinal. Select the pipe tool from the plumbing tab. On the placement ribbon, toggle on orientation and size. So the size and orientation of the pipe will be determined by the connection point on the fixture. Toggle off the ACS plane and ACS plane snap locks. Then snap to the sanitary connection point on the urinal and data point to accept. This will size the pipe 
and start the route. Using AccuDraw, place the pipe horizontally 4 inches and then data point to accept. Type F to rotate the AccuDraw compass to a front orientation. Move the cursor down and type Enter to lock the AccuDraw axis in the vertical direction. Snap to the branch pipe from the toilet to align the new pipe and data point to accept. Finally, place the pipe horizontally connecting it to the branch pipe from the toilet. Close the Place Component dialog. Now that the plumbing route has been placed, you will use the Apply Slope tool to properly slope the pipes. Apply Slope is a manipulation tool that is used to apply a slope to an existing route by sensing downstream connected components. The slope can be applied either up or down from a selection or start point and will continue through connections and even vertical risers if this option is selected. However, the slope will continue in the same direction, so the start point must be selected carefully. For example, if you were to slope downward from the toilet in the women's toilet room, the slope would continue down on the branches to the other connected toilets and urinals, and this would not be correct. It is better in this case to use the outlet or the lowest point of the main pipe and slope upwards from this point. So select the Apply Slope tool from the Manipulate group on the plumbing tab. Set the method to percent the percentage to 2, the slope direction to up, and process pipe within 0 degrees. Now select the last piece of the main pipe. A preview will show the manipulated pipe with a single black line indicating the current location of the pipe. Then data point to accept. The pipes and corresponding fittings are adjusted to the new slope. However, you may now want to replace some of the T connections with Y fittings. The Connect Duct Pipes tool is used to quickly join common duct or pipe intersections, turns, T's, and cross intersections. So let's delete the T connections from the second toilet in the women's toilet room and where this branch connects to the main sanitary line. Note that the straight pipe is joined together as one when you delete the T. Select the Connect tool from the Route Assist group on the plumbing ribbon. In the Connect Ducts Pipes dialog, select the Pipes tab, set the fitting type to Join with T, and the fitting name to Sanitary T. Note that the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in the preview window represent the order in which you need to select the pipes to be connected. Select the first pipe, then select the second pipe. A Y connection is added correctly oriented based on the slope of the pipes. Repeat for additional Y connections. Now you can use what you've learned to place cold and hot water supply piping for the toilet rooms. Remember to change the active family part before placing the different types of piping. The toilets and urinal each have a supply connection. The sink, however, does not, so you will need to size the piping and run it to the correct location at the sink. In the next session, we'll take a look at the mechanical and plumbing drawings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.